make a finger and touch my finger. Try to touch here with my finger. Keep it down now. To watch deep brain stimulation surgery at St. Louis University Hospital is to watch one of the miracles of modern medicine. Today, doctors will implant an electrode in the brain of a patient who has suffered debilitating tremors for 40 years. The electrode will stimulate the spot on the brain where the tremor resides. Many of our patients can't drink. Uh, almost none of them can write. Uh, uh, and all of these patients are, are suffering from a condition that really prevents them from enjoying life in any way, much less to the fullest. Even though placing an electrode in the brain seems to be certainly uh, a radical surgery, it is something that we do on a routine basis and we do with a high degree of safety and precision here. Dr. Richard Buholz has become a national expert in DBS surgery. The technologies necessary to place these uh, devices uh, was pioneered and invented here at St. Louis University. But one of the things that is common between all centers doing deep brain stimulation is the use of something called the stealth station. This is called an image guided surgical system or a navigational system. And what this allows you to do is insert these electrodes into the brain with a high degree of precision. The neurosurgeon and neurologist choose the path for the electrode, carefully avoiding arteries and veins. So while we go ahead and uh, set that as a target. Doctors use an in-operating room CT scan that provides 3D images for precision. They first measure the brain waves of the patient. The target in the thalamus is about two and a half, three millimeters in size. Throughout this amazing surgery, the patient is awake so that doctors can measure her response. Anticipation builds as they place the stimulating electrode and turn on the current. Remember, this patient has suffered tremors for 40 years. Doctors are placing an electrode on her left side to control tremors on her right. So we are seeing some benefit at one already. Tremor is stopping. You hear the joy from the patient in the operating room. The stimulation was successful. When the process is complete, her tremors will be gone. We talked to the patient about the surgery. It was just so special. You know, that when I came out of it, I just, I, it was still just baby. almost beyond belief. To be selected for surgery, doctors at the Movement Disorders Clinic first videotape and evaluate each patient as a candidate. Many of these patients have probably reached the end of the road with medical treatment, and we are looking for something more. Uh, and that's where it really becomes effective. It was clear in Marilyn's case that surgery was the best option to treat her essential tremor disorder. From the minute they said it, it wasn't anything where I said, I'm not going to do it, or oh, it's going to be too hard, or it's going to be this, or it was just immediately, okay, let's do it. At St. Louis University Hospital, this surgery is used to treat essential tremor, dystonia, obsessive compulsive disorder, and most commonly, Parkinson's disease. Some of the surgeons, some of the neurosurgeons who have discovered and have had a lot of experience with deep brain stimulation, they call it the second miracle for Parkinson's disease. The sky is the limit. Once you start interacting with the brain, you start recording its signals, and you start activating the brain, you can accomplish almost anything that you'd want to to help people restore a function to them that has been lost either through accident, age, or infirmity. When the patient returns to the Movement Disorders Clinic to have the device turned on, the real impact of this life-changing surgery is realized. First, they take a measurement before. So this is a baseline. See the tremor is of high amplitude in the right arm. Then the neurologist takes Marilyn through a series of motor tests. There are four electrodes sitting in your brain. We're going to interrogate each one. So we will try the last combination, which will be zero minus three plus. The entire electrode will be active. And you're able to touch the tip of my pen. Let's try this tip, the very little tip of the pen. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty good. All right, there we go. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That is that's really amazing. And there is always the acid test, the glass of water. <laughs> so uh, let's try that. Okay. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Looks like you're not going to spill anything from that glass. Let's try that. It's a very good day. It's a very good day. For more information on DBS surgery and the St. Louis University Movement Disorders Clinic, visit slewhospital.com.